Hey yo, salute to all my subscribers. Shout out to everybody else passing through. YouTube, what's good? So I came through today to have a quick talk with y'all. And if you see in the title um, you clicked on, then y'all know that I'm talking about emotions versus logic. And the reason why I decided to come through and impart my theories and my logic on this topic and this concept is because in my travels and my experiences and, and my many interactions with people in various situations, I've learned that most people don't know how to separate emotions from logic. Now, why do I say that? I say that because most people in dealing with politics and dealing with social issues and even just everyday miscellaneous topics, um, most people let their emotions get in the way of not just having intelligent and thought-provoking and, and, and progressive conversations with people. They let their emotions cloud their judgment and their logic. Um, I approach everybody in a, a very basic way. And this is kind of like my mantra to life, how, how I try to consciously approach everything. I don't have to. First of all, let me break down the, the two different types of people that I de, that I come across. There are people who just have, in my opinion, bad character. And when I come across people who just are bad and, and no good at the character level, I try not even to have interactions with them. I try not to even engage with those people or deal with them because once you reach a certain age, around age 26, when your frontal lobe is done developing, you pretty much are who you're going to be for the rest of your life. Like you're, that's who you're going to be till you leave this earth. It just is what it is. People don't drastically change. I mean, I know we would all like to think that people grow and, and people develop and change every day. But for the most part, unless you experience some life altering event, um, like either some type of near death experience where you start to reevaluate, you know, your whole life or you experience, you know, the loss of someone close to you who passes away, God forbid, um, unless those types of major life events happen, most people are who they are after they hit a certain age. And that's just who you're going to be. And it, it just is what it is. So when I come across those people who I just don't vibe with on a character level, I just avoid those types of people altogether because it's really not it's really not conducive to me living the most fulfilling life that I can live for myself. Having said that, the rest of the people that you know, fall in different categories and different levels. You know, I might not like a person just because they, they might not be my cup of tea. But when it comes to different issues and different things that we might disagree on, I just only limit it to those issues. It's based on logic. Like we don't have to agree on the same types of issues or the same things. And, you know, I'm smart enough to know how to apply that and vice versa. If I come across somebody that I might not be you know, they might not be my cup of tea. They might not be my favorite person to deal with. If that person has something intelligent to say, you know, and I can take from that, learn from it or whatever, I'm going to do that. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's all based on logic. Now, most people that I've interacted with, um, they operate off of emotion. So regardless of what you might have to say to them that's intelligent or that might be helpful or whatever you might try to impart, you know, on them in the way of 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 wisdom. They're going to reject it because they're just looking at their emotions and that's how they'll deal with you. And the reason why I stopped through to talk about that today is because I think people really need to get out of that way. Because I think when that when when we operate off of emotion, we can block a lot of knowledge. Um, we can block a lot of wisdom that we can be picking up on. And really, we're all here to build off of each other. And, you know. I don't say it from a negative space, you know what I'm saying? I try to be as optimistic as possible, but I'm also a, a very literal person. You know what I'm saying? I'm 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 black and white when it comes to a lot of things cuz in life I feel like it's not, there's not really that many gray areas. You know, there may be a few here and there, but for the most part, you either stand on one side or the other or you just stay out of that situation altogether. For people who play both sides of the fence, you know, it's just as bad to me as somebody who who, you know, is on the wrong side. 
I don't really have time for that. You know what I'm saying? But for anybody who came through and really is interested in, in, in taking what I got to say to the next level and applying it to their everyday life, you know, my, my advice to you would be in, in different interactions that you have with people, even those most difficult interactions, start trying to approach it from a logical standpoint. Because when you do that, one, you're, you're creating less you're creating less stress for yourself and for the people around you because yo that type of shit sticks with you it don't it don't really go nowhere you know what i'm saying like energy is not it's never created nor destroyed it's just transferred from one person and thing to another and when you start to approach your life and your interactions with people from a more logical standpoint it it just makes everything a lot better you know what i'm saying like you have a clearer perception you know the people around you will feed off that energy and they'll start to have a, a more clear perception and you'll be able to better de- differentiate the people who just don't rock with you just because they're just operating off of emotions and the people who don't agree with something that you might say or do at that time. And that's cool because you really don't learn anything from, you know, being around people who always agree with you and vice and vice versa. You really only will learn not just about yourself, but about the people around you when you get into those situations where there are disagreements. Because when there's disagreements and you allow yourself to be open enough from a logical standpoint to see another person's side, even if you don't agree with it, to be able to see where they're coming from and maybe how they reach that, you know, that understanding about whatever it is they have, then we all leave that situation smarter for it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to make this one too long. It's just one of my theories. I got a lot of them. I just wanted to stop doing talk about that real quick. Let me know what y'all think. Like, comment, subscribe. I don't pretend to know everything. I just know what I know. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace and love.